Welcome back. I've got another Nightcore torch in for review. It's the TM9K Pro. The company sent this in with a bunch of other torches, so I'm just working through them gradually. I'll start off with a very quick unboxing for you. This is a pretty straightforward bundle included with this model. We have the user manual and the warranty card. Also supplied is an A to C charging cable. Here's the wrist strap and that comes with a thread to help loop it through the tactical ring. That's the place where it goes and we have a clip. The holster that they supply is one of their tactical style ones. It has a metal D-ring, velcro and a belt loop on it and it is open at the bottom. Put the dimensions and sizes up on screen for you. As per usual it is a pretty compact tactical style model. It's very much in the same style as the TAC version of the TM9K with the built-in tactical ring. We do still have the switches and both of those are dual stage. That includes the mode and the power switch. Pressure feels pretty good on the main switch as well. We'll have a look at the Type-C cover. A little bit fiddly to put that back, but uh, it does the job okay. Just gonna peel off that protective cover that they have on the front. And there's your stainless steel bezel. And this is the main difference really between this and the previous TAC model. That is the inclusion of these new Night Lab LEDs. We've got auxiliary ones around the main LED and that's why we have that spot and floodlight modes. You can also take the cover off the front if you want to get to that, the glass cover. Just a quick shot showing it with the clip attached into the holster. It's a bit on the tight side, but that does loosen up over time. And you'll notice that you have a flap there on the front to help open it up easier. And on the underside, that is open just to make sure there's no water that builds up there. We'll go over the user interface now. It's a single press, full press on the power switch for on and off. When the torch is on, what you want to do is half press the power switch, and that cycles the four main power levels. When you hit the mode switch, there's a half press for that spotlight mode. A full press gives you the floodlight or the lumen shield. There's the proximity sensor, and that will drop it down only when you switch the torch on. Just a safety feature. And if you want to get to the lockout, when it's on, push and hold the power switch in full or half press. They also include a voltage readout with the full lockout mode. And that LED also acts as a battery level indicator. Three stages for that. Unlocking the torch is just a case of a triple press on the power switch. I don't have any major complaints with the user interface. There's one obvious omission, and that is there is no strobe mode with this. I assume that might be down to the LEDs. I'm not exactly sure myself, but you don't have a strobe mode with this model. I thought I'd point that out just in case you're wondering why I didn't show you that. Light output is on the cool sign as expected, around about 6,200 kelvins. Quick charge and standard charging are supported. I put the details on screen. Even the normal charging speed's perfectly fine at around about five hours. Just put some of the output details up on screen for you so you can see those it wasn't on the packaging. Start off with the TH10R at the high level, 950 lumens. Then I'm going to move that up to the turbo output, which is 2000 lumens. Now when we move over to the TM9K Pro, even at 30 lumens we can reach the shed. Go up to 130 lumens, you can see things spread out a bit more. One thing you're going to notice with this torch over the TAC version is that it is much more focused in terms of the range with the new LEDs. If we go into the search mode, 6000 lumens, that gives you the spotlight effect with the beam in the middle there. The intensity is definitely brighter. Doesn't last long, maybe seven or eight seconds and then it drops down. Once you go into the top output, the lumen shield, that's going to generate even more heat. So again, you're looking at a pretty short runtime of both of those modes. The two highest modes are still useful for a quick blast of light, but being practical about it, you're going to be using the high mode more than anything else. Have a look through the rest of the beam shots and see what you think. Give you my summary at the end.
some of my thoughts with the TM9K Pro. Really, you're looking at the TAC version with the new LEDs, and you do get the advantages from that, such as a longer range beam. You have your choice of spot or floodlight modes, thanks to those auxiliary LEDs. Didn't see any obvious problems with the tint. It seemed to be okay. The usual disadvantages, there's no easy access to the battery, so you can send it back, but it's obviously going to take a while to get the battery changed. We've got that lack of strobe mode and short run times on the highest output. If you've got any thoughts on this, do drop a comment down below. Be interested if you think that the LED upgrade is worth it on its own. Got quite a few videos coming up, so do stick around for those. And as usual, thanks for watching.